Welcome back, everyone. We're playing Ratchet and Clank. We have a decision to make. We can go to Metropolis, to Planet Kerwan, or we can go to uh, Aridia. I think it works better if we go to uh, the Metropolis place first. I believe the stuff we get there will help us go to Aridia and do everything we need there. Plus, this is the story route. This is where we're supposed to allegedly supposed to go. So we'll do that first. We're looking for Captain Quark. We want him to help us save the planet. Clank has some information and he's shared that with us. Drek is uh, going to steal a bunch of parts of planets to build his own little utopia. And in so doing, d destroying those planets. I mean, you... you you take out a chunk of a planet, and uh, I got some great that planet's no more. It, uh, it'll go into the sun. Hey, that looked like Captain Quark. Should we go this way? There's enemies over here. I feel like this may not be where we want to go, but let's destroy all this stuff first. I don't know if we've seen those much yet. Um, if you touch them, they they count down a couple seconds and then they explode or you can just blow them up quickly they're sometimes dangerous if they uh if they get placed say behind some other uh some other boxes you don't see them you go up to smack them with your wrench and then they blow up and you take a uh, you take damage it's kind of annoying so here's Captain Quark, perhaps a fitness course. Fitness course. If you're strong enough, well, enough, sounds like we should probably do that. Gotta so make our way all the way over there. The Good luck. Quark Enterprises is not responsible for <laughs> not responsible for any of that. Okay, fine. Accidental death. Accidental death. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more... Clank can't tell that this is not Captain Quark. Clank, yes. Do you know Clank is dumb. About Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring <laughs> where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? I do think this game's humor is okay. I don't think it's great. I think it hasn't aged especially well. Like, I found it funnier when I was a kid and I played it. But there, there are parts that are funny. There are enough parts. I can't remember uh, laughing a whole bunch at the remake either, so... That may just be something that I've outgrown. We can do wall jumps. It, I thought, would give us a prompt, because this is the first wall jump we've seen. And it, it didn't tell me that I can do a wall jump. But I'm so much of a gamer that I, I knew I could do it. You do a bunch of them in a row, and uh, then you fall, because falling is good. But we wanted to get to this side anyway, so it's fine. It's fine. Jump down here. That looks like a big building we gotta climb. This is like the most platforming we've done so far. We're not even gonna fall off even once, probably, maybe. got these uh, moving platforms, which we kind of just have to wait for the cycle, or we can just risk it and go. Made it. I made it. I'm a gamer. I know in worse made games than this, you're actually able to stand on, like, the little rim there. Uh, I know Sonic 06, you could do that. It has similar sections to these, but that little bit that extends out that holds the platforms, you can just stand on those and ignore the actual moving part of the platform. I recently watched a playthrough of Sonic 06, and it is certainly something. I'm not 100% sure I'm ever going to play it on the channel, or play it in general, but I do own a copy of it, which I bought with more or less the express purpose of playing it, so... I'm, I'm not saying I'm gonna, I'm just saying it's a possibility. It's something I'm considering. 
that was the whole uh, the whole fitness course right there. Now give us our prize. Listen up, you Pathetic, but I did really, really well. I didn't even fall except for that one time. It's really rude. Yeah, we finished it. Weak. She's, she's really mean. Or it's really mean because it's a robot, right? But, you know. Modeled after a woman. Oh, cool. We impressed Captain Quark. Thank you, subtitles, for letting me read ahead. It's another reason I like subtitles. You can just read. A swing shot? Yeah, we do need that for Iridia. There's a, a section on that planet that requires the slingshot. Swing shot? Swing shot? Swing shot. That's it. Yeah, make us pay for it. That's awful. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's Clank is right. Fair. I take back what I said about him being dumb. Oh, a thousand volts. Okay, I can afford that. I have, like, no money now, but... Sweet. I can afford it. Captain Quark uses stuff like this all the time. Ha! Real men can swing without silly toys like that. The two of you okay, bye, ma'am. Please leave. Thank you. Bye. Congratulations on your new so in later games, uh, the swing shot automatically equips when you're near something to swing, and you can just jump and you can press circle, and then uh, you'll you'll attach yourself to it. In this one, you have to equip it every time, and that gets very annoying when you're trying to you know like play the video game. You don't actually have to target it like this. I'm just I'm making sure. I don't know how far back we are in terms of technology because yeah right now we still have it equipped we don't have a weapon equipped leader games you never actually have to properly equip tools like this there are a bunch of other uh, tooly gadget type things that we'll get throughout the course of the game we get a, a hacking tool um, a water displacer tool a bunch of things and um, we have to equip them every time and it's not good in fact I would say it's very bad it's just a quality of life thing it's it's something that the later games improved tremendously and it's something that I really miss going back to them can I can I climb up here no okay okay game guess I'll have to do that later Oh, can I shoot this guy down? I don't have anything that can actually shoot this guy, so this is not going to be good. I don't have the blaster yet. Or a better weapon. The blaster's kind of... Meh. Especially in this game. Like, the blaster in, uh, in later games, it's actually decent. Especially once you can upgrade it. In this game, there's only one upgrade you can get for every weapon, and I'm not going to get any of them because they cost way too much money. And you can make them gold. I don't even remember if it makes them significantly better. Like I said, I didn't... Uh, I've played through the game now. I don't get any of them. So if that's what you're here for, uh, poor you. Yeah, I don't... Uh, I don't think the blaster in this game is especially good. But it's better than the pyrocitor at shooting airborne enemies because uh, it doesn't do anything for those. What hit me? Oh, right, a mine. The the guy who tried to run away from me drops mines, and I didn't realize it. I got hit again. I'm not doing so hot. It's been a while since I've played a Ratchet and Clank game, and at this point, I'm just like just trying to get through and not playing so well. So if you're here for expert gameplay, you're also I know what the channel's called. Don't try to throw that in my face. I myself am not a robot guy, this guy is a big <laughs> nerd, as Ratchet said. Of course Clank likes him. This Clank is also a nerd. You know what we do to nerds? We beat them up. Because this is 2002, and that's what we did back then. And it was okay. The nerds accepted it. Now they run the Earth. Do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? Version 7.66. 
back at you. A helipack upgrade? Ooh, that sounds lovely. How does a helipack upgrade sound? That, uh, that building we couldn't jump to, that, I guess, ledge we couldn't jump into, I'm pretty sure we can get to it with the helipack upgrade. I don't think I ever do. I don't remember actually getting up there. But I'm pretty sure that's, uh, you need, a like, a super jump sort of thing that you can do after the, after you get this. Pretty sure. It's that or the rocket pack that you get even later in the game. I'm pretty sure this is the boost jump. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that would get us up there. Press the R1 button to crouch, then jump. You'll need your new okay, where am I going? I'm going over here, right? That looks like a platform. That's that's not a platform. That's not where we wanted to go. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's not do that again. Try using the boost jump it, it totally looks like it's a platform, though, right? Like, sure, we can go over there, but... But it looks like a platform. I don't think I'm in the wrong here. I, I don't think so. Okay, can we get up here? I don't think so. I think we gotta go the elevator. Don't have the ammo. Yeah, I got. I got five spots for ammo. Now I got two spots for ammo. It was worth it. I always like exploring these games too because the developers do put uh, hidden goodies, uh, hidden kind of everywhere. Glide feature. What if we just do a long jump, though? Yeah, we didn't even need to glide. Huh, I thought I thought two smacks would be enough for these guys, but it's not. You need three smacks. Or two bomb glove. There's one more guy. He's not even going to hit me. Sweet. That's that area done. I'm not running to that trap our monies because I have like no money right now relatively speaking like the biggest upgrade in the game that I'm gonna buy is 30,000 bolts I think and even that takes a while to get to we do get more money later on but it's still not like a lot there's a weapon in this game that costs, I think it's 150,000 bolts, and there's no way we're getting that, because I'm not grinding for money for that long. Even though that weapon uh, makes the final boss way easier. The final boss is actually pretty difficult in this game, if you don't have that weapon. I'll spoil it right now, it took me like 40 minutes to beat the final boss. Not all of that is going to be on here. I, I cut it out. I, you're only going to, to see two attempts, the first and the successful one. But yeah, it was uh, it's actually difficult, and that's rare. Especially, like, I beat the reboot, or the remake, and I didn't struggle with the final boss, and I didn't get that weapon in the reboot either, so... They definitely made him easier in the new game. So we have to hop on this train, but I think there's a goodie. Maybe I maybe maybe I shouldn't have broken those boxes. I might need to get up on top of this. I uh, can't remember. Can I make it from here? I I I may have goofed. I may not be able to get up there from here. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's that. But I think there's another area, perhaps? There's definitely stuff up there, but that's not what I was thinking of. I think it's over here. This looks jump upable. Yeah, there's a goodie. I see the goodie. Do some platforming. And we won't fall at all. We don't want to wake up those guys. Okay, we fell. That's okay, we can wall jump up there. We can make it. It's fine. Now we got a gold bolt. There are 30 of these in the game, and... 
I might get 10 of them. They're not that difficult to track down after after you've beaten the game, but it's it's just not worth it. There's no real reward that I need, so we're not going to bother. Just collectibles. And I don't I don't really like let's plays that go for everything unless that's like expre expressly the goal. I just, I just want to see people beat the game. That's all I want to see. Now we're on a train, and it is infinitely looping until we get to the end. Because I remember sitting there as a kid and just waiting to see if it eventually got to a destination. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Oh no. Oh no. I shouldn't have jumped. I shouldn't have jumped. That was my bad. That was my bad. Okay, we'll, uh, this time for sure. I do like how, in general, this game is pretty generous with its checkpoints. It isn't always. There, there are a couple of sections where, like, you have to redo a whole section if you die. But in general, it's, it's pretty good. It knows where people are going to die, and it puts you more or less right before those, those parts. Okay, sir. Sir. Thank you. This is not a challenging area. I think we can just whack these guys off. Yeah, they just, they just die. So as long as we don't fall off. Here's a turn. Do we want to risk it? Oh, don't. Oh. Let's just, let's just kill some boxes. Let's make it. Ooh, we were close. And now we've reached our destination. It would always go here when we reach this final, uh, final little bit. I want the info bot. Give me the info bot. Okay, well, so let's go kill this dude. Or let's not kill this. I saw some goodies. It's a lot of bolts. It's a good amount of bolts. Some free health if I needed it. But I don't because I'm too good at this game. I think the fastest way to traverse the area is actually to just continuously long jump. Sometimes you're just not going forward enough and you do a super jump instead. And it's not what you want and you get sad. Hello, Mr. Infobot. What are you up to? <laughs> that guy's got a fake cigar in his mouth. Sources tell me you're behind schedule. You must prepare this planet and no subtitles. I new world. I feel like I should apologize for that, but it's not my fault. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. And as your former commander can tell you, I don't take disappointments well. Yes, sir. I won't fail. Just gives us a new planet to go to. Rick is destroying yet another planet. Yeah, but if that's the kind of help he's getting, I don't think we have anything to worry Ratchet's about. Ratchet's not wrong. You should not underestimate Chairman Drek. He is quite dangerous. We must find Captain Quark. Look, that lieutenant doesn't seem so tough. Let's take him out ourselves. Perhaps we can persuade the lieutenant to tell us where Drek is. <laughs> now you're talking. You got it, dude. He, he did the you got it, dude. From that show. Is that Full House? I don't know. I've never watched it. I feel like it is though. I feel like I'm right there. Can we buy the blaster now? We still can't buy the blaster. Guess we'll have to get more money. Okay, eventually that won't be a lot of money. But it is for now. So now we have another decision to make. We can go straight to that new planet or we can go to Iridia. And that's a decision that we will make on the next episode.